come back on those grown-ups to make your life really difficult. And take a look at this. It's the new Mangle, new and improved. And I can't wait to see the grown-ups go through that. And they will be playing for one of these, the Get Your Own Back Trophy. Some person will win this, whilst the other person takes that ghost train ride towards the evil smelly gunk dunk. And this is where we get to meet our contestants first of all. And that's for the first round, known as the Brain Box Round. So, let's get on with the games! Jumps have to win as many points as possible to win this here key to freedom and avoid being plunged in the gunge. Let's meet the first team, shall we? They are the Reds! Come through! Come through! Oh, oh. Oh, hello, hello there, you are? Angela. Hello, Angela, pleased to meet you. Where are you from, Angela? Clevedon in Avon. Ah, nice part of the world that is. Can you stop that? I'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask you, you uh, you're in the Girl Guides, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, and there's a favourite thing that you like doing in the Girl Guides. What is it? Um, bake-outs. You like bake-outs? Ah, so what, do, what kind of things do you cook? Well, you cook your own food. And then you get to eat it? Yeah. We're now turning to your partner in crime, and you are? Sue Fondon. Hello, Sue Fondon. Hello. And where are you from? I'm from Clevedon as well. OK, what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a general assistant, which is a classroom assistant in a primary school. Now, apparently you like cheese and children. Yeah, not cheesy children, though. Oh, it's all right. I'm a beans and toast man myself. Anyway, no. listen, I've got to ask you, the connection between you two, what is it? Um, she's a teacher at our school. She's a teacher at your school. Why do you want to get your own back on her? Well, she calls me grotty and she calls me a horrible child. Oh, really? And she plays tricks and on And she me. plays tricks on you as well? No, oh, I don't, I don't yeah, believe it's, it. It's all but lies. Look at that! Hose pipe to the head or what? Come with me, you stand behind me, because what I would like you to do is to choose a category of questions for Sue to answer by ringing that bell. Go on, give it a good one. Go on, yeah! <laughs> And the subject matter is tall stories. Put the hammer down, rush towards that mangle as quickly as you can, and remember, at all costs, you've got to slow her down. What do you like, then, on tall stories and, like, fables and stuff? Yeah, well, not very good. Oh, that's yeah. right. Speaking of not very good, we also heard that there's a certain thing that you hate making, and that is making of pies. Oh. So, what we would like you to do is to answer as many questions on tall stories as you can whilst making the pies. We want you to add the onions, the peppers, and also roll the pastry, put it on the top, and get them through the mangle inside of one minute. <laughs> <laughs> Tall order, isn't it, really? Here we go. Your minute starts now. Alice fell down a rabbit hole and found herself in which land? Um, don't know, pass. Wonderland. Willy Wonka put how many special golden tickets in his bar? Three. Five. What was the name of King Arthur's sword? Excalibur. Excalibur's right, go! No! Take the pie! Take the pie! The pie! No! The pie! What long-haired maiden was kept in a doorless tower by a wicked witch? Um, Cinderella. Rapunzel. Name the magical land visited by Lucy in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Um, um, half. Narnia. Who oh. pricked her finger on a spinning wheel and fell asleep for a hundred years? Cinderella. No sleeping beauty. What did Snow White eat to make herself fall into a magical sleep? Apple. Yes! Go! <laughs> Find out how you've done. Well, that's 20 points there for two correct answer questions and only one pie on the table giving you five bonus points. Therefore, you have a total of 25 points. Yeah! And now it's time to meet the yellows. Come in! Come in! Come in! Hello, Lynn. Hello. Right, and you are? Lynn Kleckner. Hello, Lynn. Where are you from? Gloucester. Ah, oh, nice part of the world is our Gloucester. And it says here that, oh, you're into things like drama and modern and ballet and tap. Do you have, like, awards and certificates and trophies and things for these? Yes, I do. Cool, you must be really good then. So, what's your ambition? To be an actress. To be an actress. Oh, you're going the right way about it. Anyway, I'm now going to turn to your partner in crime. Step in a little bit so we can all see you. You are? Jacqueline Chidsoy. Wow, that is, that is one really nice surname, Jacqueline. Yes, I'm a really nice person, actually. It's just that I haven't been discovered yet. I think we're going to have a very interesting show on this one. Now, according to this, our details are you love everything. Yes, I really love everything in the world. Except Lynn. 
Um, yes, exactly. <laughs> I used to like her. It's all right. Now, listen, what is the connection between you two? She's my dance and drama teacher. OK, now, why do you want to get your own back on her for? Because in our classes, she flicks water at us if we go wrong. Look at that! Look, and she's flicking it as well. Isn't that terrible? I would like you to choose a category of questions for her to answer by ringing that bell. Go on, give it a good one with a hammer. Go on, go on. Up it rushes. <laughs> Oh, we must do something about that food you ate. Now, the subject matter is fame. Please, go over to the mangle really, really quickly, because remember, you've got to slow it down at all costs. What do you like on fame, celebrities and knowledge of the famous? I, I'm very good, actually. I think I'm quite brilliant. And she's also extremely modest as well. So, what I would like you to do, whilst answering questions on fame, I would like you to make a knickerbocker glory. Here's the roast of it already prepared. You have to put the ice cream in, the wafers, the cherries and the sauce. Marks for neatness and how many of these you can get through the, mi your mingle, the mingle, the mangle inside of one minute. So here we go. Your minute on fame starts now. What was the Princesses of Wales maiden name? Um, uh, Spencer. Spencer's right. Go! No! Oh! Oh! She has, she has got her wafer on. OK, here we go. Next question. Tim Rice wrote the lyrics, but who wrote the music for Joseph and his amazing Technicolor drink coat? Um, just a minute, let me think. A minute. All right. Um, pass. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Oh, yes. Your dad's I called know. Homer and your little sister is Lisa. Who are you? Um, I don't know. Pass. Bart Simpson. Bart Simpson, yes. Right. Which 15th century heroine was burnt at the stake? Um, St. Joan. That's right, go! Joan of Arc it was. <laughs> Well, that's 20 points there for two correct answer questions and three Knickerbocker glories on the table, but actually we're going to take one off because you took two in at the same time. Therefore, you have 10 bonus points. Your grand total is 30 points! Yeah! Well, let's take a look at the scores after round one. Well, Sue of the Reds has scored 25 points, but Jacqueline of the Yellows is in the lead with 30 points! Yeah! So, there we have it. Can Jacqueline of the Yellows stretch her lead and get this key to freedom or will she be overtaken by Sue? Well, we won't know this until we play round two. Yeah! Round two is the Chumps Challenge and this week's challenge is called the Fishy Frogman's Game. How is it played? Let me explain. Both Chump and Challenger are standing in flippers at the moment, but when I say go, they'll don the underwater gear and then they have to swim underneath the water and the undergrowth then they have to wade into the ball pond, then out of the ball pond towards these loads of balloons because inside these balloons are loads of fishes. They have to pop the balloons with the harpoon, collect three fishes, place them in the bucket, which is provided like this, and then run back to the start. In order to end the race, they have to hoist the flag into the air. The race is then over. Now, if the grown-up gets back before the child and completes the game, they get themselves 25 bonus points. Ooh. But, <laughs> but should the child get back first, the grown-up gets absolutely nothing. So, yeah, I thought you'd like that. Anyway, the Reds are to go first. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> It's 
Yeah. So, therefore, you've got yourself 25 bonus points. Yeah. Now it's the turn of the yellows to have a go at this game. And if Jacqueline doesn't want to end up in the slimy stuff, she has to get those 25 bonus points to keep herself well in the lead. Are you both ready? Yes, yes. Thank you. Oh, it's all right. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> yeah, and now I've got their gear. The crowd are going warm. Well, Jacqueline of the Yellows has scored 30 points, but in the lead by 20 points, it's two of the Reds with 50 points! Yeah! Well, yes, Sue! You get that key to freedom! Yeah. Look at that, she couldn't wait to grab hold of that. Look at that. You'll keep the freedom, you also get yourself a clever clog certificate, and you don't Thank have you. to get gunge. And as for you, I don't know what to say, Angela, I'm really ever so sorry. You didn't get the chance to get your own back, but well done for getting this far. You get to take away with you and get your own backpack with the trainers, the Get Your Own Back t-shirt, and this week's special prize, which is a collection of Spielberg videos, including An American Tale and E.T. Yeah! But as for you two, if you'd like to step with me... <laughs> yes, you know what time it is now, don't you? You know what time it is. <laughs> yes, it is time for The Gunk Dunk! Yeah! As you can see, Jacqueline is now poised for a drop in this load of plop. But I'm a nice kind of guy, and I'm going to throw you a lifeline. Now, if you can answer five correct questions in under 45 seconds, lighting the pumpkins behind you, you will lock out the drop mechanism that will drop you into here, and you will open up the vat of gunge above young Lynn's head, making her very, very messy indeed. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are very, very obvious answers to my questions that begin with the letter D, but the answers that you give me cannot begin with that letter. All right? Okay. Your 45 seconds starts now. Who travelled through time in a TARDIS? Oh, help. Help begins with an H. Um... No, I'll do next question. The Sahara is a type of what? It's, a, it's lots and lots of sand that stretches a long way. Fine, I'll have that. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was a kind of what? He was a great big thing with, with bones and he came from years ago. Fine, I'll take that. I... Which type of coat does Paddington Bear wear? Um, he wears a coat that's got very special toggles that... Fine, I'll have that. What type of wildflower makes a necklace chain? Um, they're, they're white and they grow on a lawn and, um, and they... Fine, that's all right. Ah! Please, Lynn, pull that lever and get your own back! You. Thank you. That is your get your own back trophy. You also get to take away with you and get your own backpack with loads of goodies, plus this week's wild and special prize. Yes, a fast moving set of inliners. <laughs> Remember, grown up, be nice to your children. It could be you in here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs>